Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to uh, show you uh, the next video tutorial of uh, fast food, online fast food project. In this video just I am going to uh, add a new card details. So if you want to uh, show the list or you can say the uh, number of items in the card, then you will uh, add a view component. Because when we uh, delete any uh, uh, cart items then uh, cart will be updated uh, in the form of the integers so uh, you just add a new view component for this types and also you can use session but in the session you can see if uh, session uh, is used where you just got the items and add new items but the view uh, component is used where uh, uh, just get the value from the database also in the view component so uh, just add a view component folder in the web projects and the view component uh, the class file name is the cart component cart view component and cart view component is inherited with the view component okay so view component is used where you can just uh, get any type of uh, thing from the database table and just you want to show in your uh, master class or you can say master or or you can say that layout page so private read only application db context right here and just initialize that context in the constructor as a dependency and uh, as a constructor dependency anyhow and uh, by using the invoke async method you just got a uh, the cart information according to your, your uh, user ID uh, that is the logged in or you can say the logged in user ID on the basis of the logged in user ID just get the cart information so just create uh, just you can use this type of code in your uh, cart view component that is invoke async and written I view component result so first of all the claims identity by using the claims identity you just got any uh, logged in user id so claims identity user dot identity claims claims identity dot find first claim type dot name identifier claims is not equals to null then http context dot session dot get int 32 just i want to get the uh, session value and the session key is the session card if it is not null then get the session card value if it is sub uh, if it is your uh, user is not uh, logged in then uh, session card um, just set the session card with their application user id with the count value and return view http context dot session dot get int 32 in the session card if suppose if your uh, user is not logged in then session card is clear http context dot session dot clear with return view zero that is the integer value so if your session is null then set the session with their shopping cart okay now use this uh, thing in your uh, in your uh, layout dot css demo file now in the uh, shared uh, folder just create a uh, new folder that is components and in the components folder just add a new folder that is the cart because uh, in the because the view component uh, name is the cart view component so just prefix use cart and in the cart uh, shared folder you just add a default.cshtml file that is the uh, you can say that partial page you can say so uh, under the default.cshtml file you just add a integer uh, model and uh, you know that uh, in the view component just written uh, integer type value so model here we can say that uh, it is a type of integer so just replace that code with your code and here we have a model is the integer type and here we have a, a cart icon and with the add the rate of model 
and model is the value of your session. Session is actually not uh, used right here, right now, but uh, in the later videos, I will use session. And where we use session, uh, that uh, when we add any item in the card, that time will be used the session. So here we have a code uh, to get the session value by using uh, view component. And that value will be used in the layout.cshtml file. So just open your layout.cshtml file and where we use uh, that uh, view component right here just uh, just after that in your coupon just copy the uh, li tag and paste the th second time uh, the next time login partial is right now just copy the uh, li tag of the coupons and paste right here and you can see that here we have already a anchor tag with their controller and areas so just change this areas that is the customer area and ASP controller is the cust uh, is the index controller and controller is the card controller and action method is the index ASP area is the customer and just call that component by using a wait at the rate of a wait component dot invoke async and the component name that is the card so just call that invoke async method in the view component file uh, in the cart view component file and just return to the uh, shared folder that is the cart and under the cart we have the underscore default dot CSS tool file so just add a new card controller for this and you know that in the card controller we have some card details as well as the order details uh, so create a new uh, view model for that for the card controller so you can say that a card a card controller is actually display the card where your order header information will be display and also uh, in the form of the summary uh, the quantity will be display price will be display of the product and you can say that the items and also the order total will be display okay so in the card controller you can uh, add first of all application db context and in uh, in application db context just initialize in the uh, constructor as a dependency and uh, uh, Now after that you can see uh, in the card controller so here we have initialize your application DB context as a constructor dependency right here and and you can see in the order header controller in the model section uh, because in the card controller we will use uh, order header as well as the card so just create a new view model for your card controller that is the card order okay so just create a new class inside your view model that is the class name you can uh, take any name so I suggest card order view model because the combination of uh, card and the order header so uh, in the card order uh, view model just take two parameter the first one is the uh, list of the card okay and the second one is the order header so list of the card you can take it right here and so name is list of card the second parameter is 
second fields is order header. So here we have order header. Okay, so everything is right. Now, now create and now add a bind property for your uh, card order view model. So cart order view model and the property name is details. Now initialize the details inside your index.cshtml file. So right here you can take index.css in, in inside your index uh, action method. You can just initialize or you can say just create a new object for your cart order view model and initialize your order header. So here we have a order header equals to new card order view model. So everything is right. Now the next thing is to do uh, first of all uh, get a list of the card uh, by their uh, logged in user. So details dot list of card equals to you can say underscore context dot cards dot where extends to application user ID. Extends to application user ID is double equals to And what is the application user ID that is mentioned in your identity folder that is user uh, I have a code snippet for the claims identity principle so here we have a claim identity and claims identity uh, user dot identity and uh, claims identity dot find first claims types dot name identifier by using the claims dot value you just get your logged in uh, user ID so here we have a claims types dot name identifier by using this you just got your uh, logged in user ID so context dot cards dot where x dot application user ID is double equals to claims dot value dot to list okay so under the list of the card you just got uh, application uh, the cards data by their uh, user so first of all check details dot list of card is not equal to null then you just iterate your for each loop for uh, list of the card so details dot list of the card so by using the list of the card you just initialize your order header total uh, total order so or you can say that order total so details dot order header dot order total and what is the order total that is the items and multiply by the price so uh, uh, add by value operator and you can say that price multiply by the quantity so item item is not right here because uh, item is already have a model name so just you can use cart so cart dot item dot price and multiply by the quantity so everything is right so just uh, press the subscribe button and don't forget please press bell icon also thank you very much for watching this video in next video we will so